Hello everyone, this is the part 10 of our motivation for app. In this video, we are going to add swipe gesture to our app. In Android SDK, we have view page for this and in Flutter, we have page view. Trust me, page view is pretty straightforward to understand and we don't have to do a lot of things. So let's see how we can use it. I'm going to do that in main.dart material app widget. Here I have home property with home page object. Instead of this object, we can add page view like this inside brackets type children because uh, this is such multi multi-tiled widget now inside brackets we have to add pages actually widgets so let's add our pages restart the app yes it is working this is how we can use page view for fixed pages. I mean, what if we have a lot of pages or suppose data coming through a database or Firebase. In that case, we don't know how much data we have and we need to display them in the page view. In that case, we have a name constructor called page view dot builder. We have another name constructor called page view dot custom. Using this constructor, you can use custom child model. What we want is this one page view dot builder name constructor. Let's try that out. After the page view add dot builder. Now we don't have children property. Instead, we have to use item builder property. Let's create an anonymous function. First parameter is type of build context. Second one is int index. This function will create a widget using this index for that arrow. Here you can add any widget you want or list or something for the sake of simplicity. For now, I'm going to create a list of widget and add our pages to it. Okay, now we can use that list like this. This will get the first element. When I swipe in this field increment and second page element will display. So we have a problem in finite scroll on the right. We have to stop that using item count value is 3 because we only have 3 elements. Instead of hard coded value, we can say pages.length. You know, this way is great when your list elements change. Let's start the app. Great. There are really cool properties in those three constructor like initial page. In order to use that, we have to use a controller property and value is page controller inside bracket we can use initial page let's say one this will show first page when app is launched also we can change the page size using viewport fraction default widget will cover the viewport of the display value should be between minus one and plus one also there are other cool properties in this constructor try those out that's all for this video in the next video i'll show you how we can change these two text widget and image without creating pages like this okay everyone i hope you all enjoyed this video if it is give this a thumb up also you can subscribe for more future videos and let me know about your thoughts thanks for watching bye bye